All right, this is for all the people that like the idea of the built-in knee pads in cry precision pants, but the price tag of uh, 200 or more, depending on where you look, is a little bit tough to swallow. What I've done is I've created the uh, pattern on the left-hand side, uh, which is you're going to need two of those to create the actual cap that will go over top of your pants. Now, this gets sewn just just below the um, the cargo pockets on regular BDU pants, and all you got to do is once you've you've created the piece that's on the right, is center it in between the seams uh, on the outside and the inside of the pant, pin it, and then sew it. It's not difficult. You can do it with a house uh, sewing machine. And uh, I'd recommend using a um, a coat thread, something uh, durable. And what I've actually got underneath this is uh, I've got strips of Velcro. You're gonna want to do the Velcro up through the corners here and down the sides. You don't need anything through the bottom because there is no Velcro pieces on the actual cry knee pads but it's very very simple to do uh, you know if you get an hour's worth of uh, time in an afternoon you can actually get some really cool uh, very comfortable knee pads for your uh, your kit uh, with very very little time now this is done in uh, Canadian pattern uh, digital um, as long as you can find the fabric you can do it in anything uh, I recommend using Cordura this is what I'm using right now this is Cordura fabric and it's just more durable than the standard uh, ripstop or twill and it works just the same as it would you know you just if this you just pop that out sorry it's tough to do with one hand so there's your Airflex knee pad and then here's, here's your pocket for it so if you're interested in the pattern uh, I'm more than happy to make photocopies of I've done the head I've done the head work on it uh, all I ask is for like two bucks and uh, whatever the shipping cost is to you this can be uh, I can do this on uh, just plain uh, 8 by 11 paper which is just on an envelope, so it costs a stamp. Uh, but for two bucks, and you don't have to worry about doing the head work. You know, you can get on the sewing machine, or you can ask your mom or your girlfriend, whatever. But there you have it. It's very, very simple to do, and saves you from having to worry about the dimensions. Now, keep in mind that with this pattern. You're gonna have to cut a little slice, about a quarter inch or so, up the side, up the corner here and down below here to be able to fold this. This, the measurements on this are done that uh, to incorporate the allowment for the folded fabric. So you're looking at about a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch folded, sewn together fold it over and then you've got all your edging so that's accounted for and you can see what I mean here on the back side so it's been cut it's been folded over the velcro is over top uh, I've got this is my prototype so I've got the velcro here which you don't need what you're gonna need is a velcro coming across here for the uh, little top uh, velcro pieces that are on the actual knee pads and a little bit of velcro down here for the side ones but essentially that's it so if you're interested let me know very simple to do